Everybody say welcome to Bobby. We now have the presentation. Mommy is also here. Make way for mommy. Make way for mommy. Hold on. Make way for mommy to join. Mommy is also here. Please make way for mommy. Make way for mommy. Everybody say welcome daddy and mommy. On behalf of Khan, a presentation will be made. And now we have at this university site, the BK full fledged university this February. And now I'm here not only to have prayer, global crusade, but also to celebrate and to rejoice with the university here and then all the universities of this place be the point of contact. To our children, to our youth, and to our adults, young adults, everyone, we come here at this time to declare total emancipation yeah. by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. I've been to many places in Nigeria. I will also be going outside Nigeria for this global crusade. I will see the Lord happy. A lot. Lives have been transformed. Families have been united. Yokes have been broken. Definite things have been done that were here testimonies from all over the world. And now, here is our own time in Lagos State. At Ikodu here. And I'm showing everyone, all the people who are here, all the people in our city, the people in our state and country, Nigeria, and all of Africa and beyond. This is going to be a special time. Yeah. A special time of emancipation. Yeah. A special time of freedom. Yeah. A special time of liberation. Yeah. Really, we're going to move from all our confinements and we're going to be elevated by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. I believe in not just hoping, not just thinking, not just desiring, and believing that there's going to be a permission from heaven. Yeah. Great things are going to happen. Yeah. Let's tell everyone, everyone around, everyone beyond, that this is going to be a great time of visitation from the Lord, and it's going to be a time of emancipation. Yeah. For our country economically, yeah. for our people socially, yeah. and for everyone spiritually. Yeah. And our time here is not just for the people of one tribe, one section, one culture, one color, one religion. It's for everyone. Yeah. Almighty God in heaven has come to bless all his creatures right, left, center, everywhere. And I'm believing that this is going to be a time of glorious emancipation, liberation for everyone. Yeah. Come one, come all. Yeah. The Lord will bless you. Yeah. Very much. Uh, at this time, Nigeria is, um, you know, as we look at, you know, the social media, look at the news and everything we're concerned about the country we're concerned about what's the future of our country we argue about this and argue about that about uh, safe pace and you know uh, candidates and all a lot of things going on but i want to say that when we are looking into 
the keyhole with both eyes. We don't see anything. If we can just step back and allow God to move this nation, Nigeria, to where we ought to be as the giant of Africa, the Lord can do it. Yeah. I want to say, let's stop fighting each other. Let's stop uh, kind of confronting each other. Let's stop opposing each other. Let's step back. Let's give God a chance to walk in us, to walk through us, and to walk through in this country. And then to touch people everywhere through Nigeria, Africa can become greater. Amen. And through Nigeria and Africa, we can make a contribution to our world that the world will know. Not only that Nigeria is, Africa is, but this generation of Nigerians and Africans that we need at this time in history. And I pray that what we're going to have from God during this time will contribute something to our uh, future that it will put you, put me, and put our country, and put our continent on the map in the real sense in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Daddy, when you say true night, will the crusade make the world better? Uh, we're transmitting throughout the whole world. Many countries, I would say virtually every country of the world. And people are connecting from all over the world. And the Lord will touch individuals, meet our needs, because let, let's face the fact, if I'm not happy and healthy, and if I'm not sound, I cannot make much contribution to my world. And when the gospel touches everyone, everywhere, all over the world, and then we in turn, you'll be like a pebble that is thrown into the sea, and the ripples will go farther than we ever heard. This crusade is going to impact lives, impact families, impact countries, and impact the whole world, and the ripples will go farther than any one of us can think. Amen. Everybody say The many things uh, vary from one student to the other. Some are academically good, but they are socially retarded. Some are socially connected, but they are financially poor, impoverished. And some are good in this area and this area, that other area, but their health is not as they desire. Some have good health, but somehow, We've not known how to use our brain. When I talk about our, of our brain, we think we know how to make use of our brain. I can read, I can remember, I can do this or that, but there's so many connections and neutrons in the brain that we do not know how to focus very well and how to use what we have. What I'm saying is, there are many things that will be peculiar to each individual student. But I want to come and present an all-round emancipation to the student body and to the young people that if they are up here and down there, I want them to be able to come up where they are down and then balance up everything in their lives and all of a sudden look up. I like the uh, pigeons were released. I want to release our young people to a better, greater, and higher place. Say a bigger amen. Um, a born again, renewed, transformed Christian. The same year I entered the university as a student. If I had entered ordinarily and normally, maybe my vision, my focus, will be on the subject I want to take my mathematics at university. But because I became transformed and my life became broadened, I saw farther than my undergraduate days. And I saw into the future that was the new life, the new vision, the new spirit, the new character, and the new focus that came to my life as a student. 
I knew I could not just make a difference in my life, in my family, but for my nation. And that is what has carried me here now. That's the reason why I'll be talking to the young people on how to move from where they are to where God, the Creator, wants them to be. Notice my word, where God, the Creator, who created all of us, whatever our background and whatever our focus, He created us that will contribute to the world in which we live. The people outside the youth community, maybe some used to, they are complaining about this, this, and that. I want to see what can a youth, a young person, a student, contribute to this world. What others are coming about, how can we become the solution to the problem of our family, our nation, our community? And I believe that as we university um, educa educa educated people, as we get, on um, as we get uh, attracted and connected with what we're going to do, things are going to be different, not only for each individual, but for our country at large. Yeah. With this program, Global Crusade, with Pastor William Rusha Kumui, Follow Rusha Kumui, I should be able to do this because you are still my father. Baba, we thank God for you. Mama, we are grateful to God for your life. God is doing something wonderful. Emancipation is happening every day at time through you and through the family by the grace of God. Sir and Ma, there is no better time that this nation and the whole world entirely needs emancipation than now. And we believe by the grace of God that through you, things will happen. Amen. I mean better things will happen. Amen. My father and my mother, once again, we want to thank you for allowing yourself to be you. Baba, we want to describe you in one word, sir. We see you as a candle who born in sweat to give others life. May you continue to live better. The Lord will satisfy you with good health, sir. Amen. Your whole day will not be in pain and shame. We are so happy with you. As we look at our lives, there are indications. Two eyes, when only one eye sees, there's limitation. We have two hands, we have ten fingers, and we have ten toes. We do not know the importance of any finger until one is lost or missing. And when all the branches of the Christian body in our country, when we join together, when all the hands, all the eyes, all the ears, all the fingers are all together and we're pushing at the same thing, pulling the same thing, we're going to succeed. Thank you.